Alright guys, it's in my hoard room right now and I'm just going through things. Uh, I was looking for some stuff to do a project, but I came across, uh, oh my goodness, this computer which I grabbed a while ago and has to be the most disgusting machine I've ever gotten for free in my life. And I can't find it right now, but the CD-ROM that was in here had actually caught on fire. And I think I know why. Just look at all this dust. Oh my god, how do you even get a computer that dusty? Like, what are we using this in? Everything in here is just completely clogged up with this grime. Like, it's amazing this thing just didn't explode into flames, which it did. I'm gonna keep looking for that CD-ROM, but I'd be amazed if this thing still works. I should actually try it one of these days. You know what dust does when it gets all in between all these connectors there? It'll actually short circuit it out, and that's why you keep your computers clean. Anyways, that's a piece of junk. I think this is like, I don't know, AMD something something from like, God knows when. Look at that cover, it's styling. That orange color, yeah, that's, that's not how it came. <laughs> this is an ugly piece of shit. All right, I'm gonna look for that drive, if I can find it, man, because it really did light on fire. But as you can tell, I got computer stuff out the yin yang in here. It's a big old mess, I'm trying to clean it up right now. Here's another computer, kind of same era. I'm guessing these are, I don't know, like Pentium, God, I don't even know. Like the low gigahertz single cores. And this one has three CD-ROMs for some reason. I guess someone really liked to uh, rip music. Now, this one's actually really clean. Like you can tell that fan right there, that's still good. That's like brand new. Case it's still good, it's got a hard drive in it, although it's an old IDE, so pretty pointless. It does have a DVD-ROM, and the case is okay looking. So that one's good for something, I don't know. Quick, easy build. Oh, still got a power supply. Is it clean? What is it, 500? Yeah, 500's good. Oh, you need a motherboard? I got a few motherboards kicking around here. Here we got like a, wow, it's like a mini ITX. An okay one too. All right, I think that's an Intel. Hmm, something. I forget what that one was, but half of these still work. And that's another one of the crappy old ones. I don't really have any use for that anymore. And that one still getting on there. These are some pretty old motherboards. Maybe of use for something one of these days. What's this one. Oh, oh, oh. That's a dandy. What is this? MCPM2. Huh. Alrighty, that's just about half of them. This one I think is like 3 gigahertz or something, so that one's still good. And all the CPUs are mostly still intact on these. And they work. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this crap. Need a power supply? I've got a couple of those too. Just about every size, every wattage. Even some weird ones like that for uh, small, basically uh, specific cases that require power supplies that look like that. Generally like really small home theater PCs use those. Something like this would use that. That's just like, I know, I'm just going to drop shit all over the place. But yeah, that's basically the kind of case that would use that. And that case is now stripped of nothing and garbage. Oh, more junk. Oh, more motherboards. Yeah, I think these are past their day, but they could be used for Linux or something. Maybe servers. Oh, that one's a gooder. That's a Asus something something. But it looks like it's an AM3, or no, AM2. Got a 64 chip in there. Again, nothing fancy, but whatever. And then we get into the pile of old CD-ROMs. And these are all IDE, so that's not really all that great. Except for this one. This one is actually an external uh, CD-ROM. Or maybe even DVD. And, oh, it's a rewriter. It still writes discs. And this is from the old Parallel days. Or Parallel connection days. So that is old. That would have been like a era like year 2000 when burners first came out for CD. That's a golden oldie right there. I bet it still works too. If 
I just had something to connect it to. Huh. Alright, so I might put something together out of all this crap and uh, stay tuned. Because, she, as you can tell, I got more junk than I need. Keyboard. Spent about 10 of those. It's a router. Got some switches. I got like three monitors right here. Uh, like another case. That one's decent though. Oh, there's some old uh, CRT monitors. What's up here? I think I got more motherboards laying around. Jesus, it's all old. Oh, and I got a project coming up too with some networking. So I'm looking for network cards. I need five of them. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, hard drives. I got a big box of hard drives in here. Yeah. All right, oh, another monitor right there. Not very big. And then that little monitor over there. And this machine, my old racing rig, actually still works fine. So this is still set up. I just don't use it too much because, uh, I don't know, my hoard. My hoard is everywhere. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I'll get some of this done eventually. It's just, there's too much. I've got to organize it all. Oh, I found it. And this is what happens when you uh, don't clean your computers too much. I don't know why, but I guess the power supply must have screwed up. And just lit this thing on fire inside of that dirty old case. Wow.